Good morning. Good morning, everyone. There's the cat. Been looking for the cat. The cat was just hiding out in a new place. There she is. Come on, Vespa. There she goes. Goodbye. Off you go, Vespa. Off you go. Want to go? No, she's not sure. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. This is day two on how to be amazing. As many of you know, this is life. This is the real deal. This is you. This is your life. And this is your chance to really fulfill the destiny that you have. Um, this week has been really interesting for me because um, I continue to continuing to learn and uh I think that's one of the things we were put on this earth to do, which was to learn and grow and to feed, to feed our brains, to feed our bodies for us to continue down uh, th this path of life. And most of us really aren't doing a very good job of it, um, of being the very best that we can be um, and living up to our fullest potential. We, we all know that. It's just what are we going to do? What are we going to do about it? So when we look at what it is to be amazing, I don't know what it is. Let me ask you a question. Let's start off with a question. What is the most amazing thing that you've ever done in your entire life? Just literally, just write that down. Let's share it with everyone here, this big community of people all around the world. What is the most amazing thing you've ever done in your entire life? I would love to, I would love to hear from you. What is the most amazing thing you've ever done in your entire life? Let, let's share this. Let's inspire uh, Let's inspire everybody here. Let me just close this down and let me just open this up and let's get on with today's broadcast. So what is the most amazing thing you've ever done in your entire life? Have two boys, have children, growth, welcome myself. Good morning. Wow, that's the most amazing thing that you've ever done. Um, uh, being a, Becoming a dad. What's the most amazing thing I've ever done? I think it has to, I think there's a few, but this is definitely one of them, showing up here every day, doing it for a couple of years, uh, feeding my brain, sharing that information, sticking to rituals. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. I amaze myself, the fact that I've managed to consistently do it. I've realized, wow, just how great I am. Um, so you are probably defined by many of the things that you've done in your life. But let me ask you this question. Let's take this up to a whole new level. What is the most amazing thing that you're going to do? What is the most amazing thing that you're going to do? And if some of you are going like this, wow, that's a really good question. What is the most amazing thing that you're going to do? So when we look at the word amazing, for me, if you look at the dictionary word it means to do something outstanding it means to do something astonishing uh, something incredible uh, in many cases it's finding your purpose that's one of the most amazing things that anyone can do so what is the most amazing thing that you're going to do in your life write it down set up my own business the more you can go into depth about this because when people get together, they very rarely talk about, hey, this is what is important to me. This is my purpose. This is what I'm going to do. And this is what I'm asking all of you to do because we're in hero training. This is our superhero logo. As many of you know, we're, we're a big fan of heroes. We're all on a journey. That's why we love to watch films. That's why we all have people that we aspire to learn from or aspire to listen to. And you're going to become the hero in your own life. And what you are going to develop working with me over time and a community of like-minded people is the real precision and the real clarity of where you are going and what you have been put on this earth to do. Does this make sense? If you're not excited by that, if you're not fired up about that, then honestly, just turn it off. Just go and do something else because your time is 100% now, so well, this is one of the things we looked at yesterday, and this is where um, most of us sit. How many of you sit in this place, the place of I? Oh, that pen has definitely uh, had its day. You're sitting in a place of, you know what, Pete? I'm interested in this. You know, I'm interested, interested, rested. Look, I love that. Look at that. Just come up with a new thing. Look, rested. Look, I'm just rested. I'm into rested. Check that out. Isn't that powerful? I know most of you can't see that because the microphone is in the way. Let me see if I can just put the microphone down without. Look at that. Into rested. Rested. Most of you are just asleep. Most of you right now, you're not awake. I mean, you're not really awake. Okay, what are we doing, coach? 
let's make some notes. I'm fired up. I'm ready to go because I know what I'm doing. I've got a, a burning desire of where I want to go. So look at that, interested. When you open the door of being interested, you open the door of being in de -si Sib. I don't know how to spell that word, but that's okay. You open the door. You're going through that door just by being interested. So when was the last time in your life that you were all in? When was the last time? When was the last time in your life totally 100% all in? I'm all in. Here are my cards. I'm, here's all my – I'm all in. Like uh, playing cards, playing roulette, and that's it. I'm all in. I have to ask you that question because how many of you, right? in all honesty, are all in – with being coached by Pete Cohen. How many of you are all in to being you, this is you, and really figuring out your I, what are you here to do? What's your purpose? What's your burning desire? How many of you are totally committed uh, to that? How many, give yourself a score out of 100, saying, hey, you know what, I am all in. You can imagine, I'm 100%, I'm all in. What about you? Now look, as a coach, and that's what I am, I'm here to challenge you. You know, I'm not here just to say, oh, you're so great. Well done, which I would say, well done for being here right now. Congratulations. You're awesome. You're amazing. But how committed are you to being the very best version of yourself? So some people say 100%. That's really cool. You know, that's really amazing. I would say I, I say I'm 100. I'd say I'm about 98. There's always room for improvement. But look at all the people here that say I'm 100. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all in. If you're all in, guys then please do what I ask you to do because I'm about to tell you something that might shock you or might even rock your world a little bit. If you're 75%, that's okay. And it might be just, you know, today. It might be different uh, tomorrow, 85, but striving to be 100. So what I'm about to say to you, because when we look at what is truly amazing, for me, what is truly amazing about you, first of all, is you. You are amazing. There's only one of you. Go and find yourself. Some people maybe go to India to find themselves and walking down the street. And how would they? Hey, it's me. I found myself. Where have I been all of this time? You can look in the mirror and go, you know what? You're amazing. And I dare you to say that today. I dare you. I dare you to go look in the mirror today and go, you are amazing. I dare you. I know you might feel a bit self-conscious. I know you might feel a bit silly. Once you've done that, go up to a few people and go, hey, I'm amazing. And if you think about what the word amazing is, it's found, finding your way out of the maze. You've, you've been lost, and now many of you with My365, you come out of the maze and you're going, this is who I am. This is what is important to me. This is what I'm going to do. Let's do it. And uh, who else do you think is amazing in this group? I dare you. I dare you to tell people, those of you that are an active part of the My365 community, go out and tell people uh, like Joanne Gibbons. Joanne Gibbons, you are amazing. Tell people like Chris Picard, you are amazing. Tell people like Cheryl Hughes, you are, if you think anyone is amazing here because if they found their way out of something and you can see that they're moving forwards in a direction that they want to go, why not tell them? Why not tell them? Why not tell? You know what? Every time I see Carmen, Carmen, you are amazing. Lisa Livingston, you are amazing. You might not be the finished article, but no one is. We're never the finished article. So here it is. This is what I was writing down this morning in moments of inspiration. And this is going to uh, blow uh, some of you away. So how many of you are re ready for this, right? So when we look at the common denominator of success, the common denominator, the common denominator of being amazing. So actually, before I tell you this, how many of you, tell me something that you want. Tell me something you want. How many of you, write it down right now, something you want. I want to be slimmer, fitter, healthier. I want, um, I want to write a book. Anything right now. Everyone just write it down and look at what other people are saying. Quickly, let's do this. Tell people that they're amazing. Look at all of the things. Too many lists to name them. Go and tell these people that you are inspired by them. Tell me anything in your life that you want to achieve. Debt free. Okay, Michelle, you want to be debt free. Brilliant. Who else? Tell me something else that you want. Come on, inspire others to find what we have. Okay, to write a book. Thank you very much. Um, would like to, I, I lost that one. I'm sorry. I want to be slimmer. I want to share my life and my journey. Slimmer, healthier, happier. Um, I can't, I, there's so many. Look at what people are saying here. Look, sorry, you guys can't see this on Instagram. Um, 
I want to have ultimate health. I want to be fit and healthy, grow my PT business, three stone lighter. All of these things that you say that you want, right? All of these things, black belt and karate, all these things that you want, more energy, you want your business to succeed. Look at all these things that you say that you want. Now, let, imagine this. How many of you would like me to wave a magic wand and all of a sudden you just had it? You just waved a magic wand and it's there. How many of you would want it? Take away all of the working on the thing to get to where it is that you want to go. How many of you? Just tell me yes or no. To deny yourself the, the satisfaction of completion of look what I did. Look what I had to get through to get to where it is that I want to go. How many of you would want that? You want to be debt free? So, okay, here it is, debt free. You'd be careful because if you were debt free, you might end up being in debt again because of what you didn't learn along the way. So think about it. If you really, really want it, you wouldn't have the satisfaction of achievement. And that's what amazing people do. They are into the science of achievement. So what is the science of achievement? The science of achievement is not being interested because when you're interested, you're rested. You might as well just fall asleep and give up, stay in bed a little bit longer, interested. You open the door to being indecisive. You open the door to give up. So to be amazing is to commit 100%. I'm all in. I'm all in regardless of what happens. But this is where it gets really interesting. And this is my point for the day. And I'm sorry it's taken me 12 minutes to get to my main point, but it's important. And this is it. Successful people, amazing people, they do what they are in the habit of doing things that failures don't like to do. Successful people are in the habit of doing the things that people who fail at things don't like to do. And in many cases, the people who are amazing also do the things that they don't feel like doing. It's all about habits. And I want you to visualize your habits like the construction around you, the invisible construction that you basically, most of us can't see the habits that we have, or actually many of you can. If you're overweight, you can see the habit that someone has. If someone has the habit of smoking, in many cases, you can see that habit. If someone is poor and living on the street, you can see the habits that that person has. But in many cases, the habits about who we are, how we feel about who we are, you can't really see that, but only you can. And that's why coaching can be quite challenging for people because it's almost like saying, hey, I'm holding you accountable. Yes, I will say that again. Amazing people are in the habit of doing the things that people who fail at things don't do. And in many cases, the people who are successful, they don't often feel like doing many of the things that they do. But, and this is the big but, the big but, you know, and I know, and if you're new here, this might be new to you hearing this, what has not feeling like anything got to do with it? If you want something enough, how you feel about it should have nothing to do with it because you want what you're going to get out of doing it. So if you are that person, and this is where my 365 will just become a, a revolution for so many people. It already is a revolution, but it will revolutionize the world because there will be so many people here that end up writing the book that will be the person that was debt free that helps uh, people uh, I was talking to a my 365 yesterday who wants to start a charity in Africa to help uh, women who basically have absolutely nothing people who will decide this is what I'm going to do and they like you will get into the habit of doing things that people don't like to do you see, would you want the book written? Your book is written, and there it is. You can give it to people. Or would you like the reward of having gone through the process of writing the book? And by the way, writing books, as someone who knows pretty well, is pretty challenging, and it's not all plain sailing. Nothing in life is particularly plain sailing, but the same wind blows us all. The same wind blows us all. But if you've set your direction, you've set your direction, of this is where I'm going. If the wind blows you, of course, You'll be back on course uh, before you know it. So what I want you to do today is to think to yourself, in, in, in all honesty, let's, let's go to honesty corner here, and let me ask you the question. Many of you have done amazing things. Reach out and tell a few people. Uh, first of all, look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I am amazing. Tell yourself it. See, notice that voice in your head that said straight away, no, you're not. 
because you're comparing yourself to something else. But put that one side. First of all, tell yourself, I'm amazing. You are amazing. There's only one of you. Secondly, look for people who are amazing and maybe tell them. I dare you to tell a few people, you know what? You are amazing. And the third thing, I want you to really start writing this down. What is the most amazing thing you're going to do next? Are you interested? Are you indecisive? Because if you are interested, and that's why people don't succeed, if you're all in, it's because of three things that we'll look at tomorrow. Three things that we'll look at tomorrow that will take this to a whole new level. There's an old expression, it's better to travel, hopefully, than to arrive. Absolutely. That's my mum who said that, and we should all listen to her because she's a very wise wise lady if you haven't shared this please uh, share it let's get this out to the world you guys are amazing but let's up our game let's have a wonderful day take care take action uh much love let's say goodbye to instagrammers goodbye instagrammers let's do a quick 20 seconds uh, review and then it's a quick shower and off to the greatest city on earth that's london just in case you didn't know oops it wants to check connection. That's a bit strange. No, no, actually, we don't want to do, we just want to do 20 seconds. Ready? Here we go. So it's day two on how to be amazing every single day. And what we're looking at today is I'm asking all of you to think about what's the most amazing thing you've ever done and what is the most amazing thing you are ever going to do. See you tomorrow for day three on how to be amazing every single day. Whoa, just got that in in 20 seconds. Goodbye. <laughs>